are two beautiful ladies who are still students but are making it. They are winners of the Halt Prize and have also been able to start up a, a business that is doing well. Without further ado, I'll let them introduce themselves and tell us what they do and what they are all about. Welcome, Karibuni Sana. We'll start with you. Thank you so much for having us. My name is Abi Chabet. I'm a third year student at Multimedia University of Kenya. I'm pursuing BCom and CPA, majoring in finance. And um, at Body Smart, I'm the co-founder and in charge of finance. Okay, thank you. Um, Patricia Mativo, a fourth year student at Multimedia University of Kenya, uh, taking bachelor's degree in analytical chemistry. I'm the campus director for HAL Prize, where Vardy Smart got to participate. Well, I'm also part of Vardy okay. somewhere. Somewhere? Yeah. So before we even get to Vardy, maybe you can explain to us, some of us who don't know what the HAL Prize is, maybe you can explain to us what it is. Okay. So HAL Prize is a global community that gives students an opportunity to become or think like entrepreneurs. So. Uh, Hal Prize has four cycles, the on-campus level, the regionals or the impact summit, then the club accelerator, and finally the awarding and ceremony where we get the top winner of uh, all the Hal Prize globally. So the on-campus level, that's where Vadi Smart started. We have campus directors from each university. Uh, and uh, my core duties are to look for teams, look for, first I have to organize a committee to help me pick the teams, to look for partners and sponsors, to ensure that we have uh, mentoring sessions, just to ensure that uh, these students start thinking like entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs in that manner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also Bill Clinton is part of the Hull Prize. It's a, it's a very big global community. Uh, over th 300,000 students participate in over 121 countries. So, yeah. And for how long have you been a campus director? Okay, so uh, I was elected last year. Okay, I went through an uh, an interview. I applied then I went through an interview and won the interview. So it's been one year. Actually my term should end right now when I'm speaking. Yes, uh, but thankfully um, there's another level of the campus director which uh, I'm applying, let me say. Uh, so what happens to, what happens like uh, after you've chosen the teams? Uh, are these teams uh, already existing? Um, uh, there are teams that are born uh, when you guys you send out the, the applications, the invitations. Oh, uh, uh, no. So it depends. We have teams for Vardis. It has been there three years. Let me say. Then we have other teams who first year of the Hall Prize. We have first years who have just who are just fresh from the high school. So when they hear of Hall Prize, they're like, okay, I want to be part of this community. I want to have a startup. I want to. You see, so it's both the ones which have been existing and those who would wish to exist. Mm. Yeah, and they're guided by a theme. Okay, and what can you say uh, do the winners or the students who participate in this gain at the end of the competition? Okay, so uh, after winning on campus level, you go to the regionals or the impact summits. Where again, my team here by right this, uh, uh, won the regionals in Malaysia. Then they have to go through the whole cycle until the global accelerator. We have the digital and the physical, which happens in the UK. Then the top six are picked from the uh, accelerator participants. Then the winner overall gets uh, uh, one million US dollars. That's a hundred million Kenyan shillings. And is there any form of uh, mentorship on how the money will be, on how they can use the money? Um, uh, it all stops on winning. Like, do you guys follow up your teams, the winners, and know how their businesses are running? Oh yeah, so during the Digital Accelerator that taught all of this, like they have brought in uh, very prominent people, let's say big people who, uh, who know exactly what startups are and how they should. So they are first mentored, trained, coached, all that. And also after winning the million USD, there's still, there's still a follow up. Mm. Yeah. So maybe Abby, you can tell us your experience in the competition so far. Okay. Um, the competition for the health prize in multimedia university first of course we had like several teams and then we won and something that i have realized like at the course of all these journeys that like with time you get to improve the kind of idea that we pitched in our own campus competition 
um, we made it better for the regionals and we're definitely making it better for the accelerator because you get to learn, you get to see how other people are pitching, you get to be trained on how to effectively pitch your idea out here and so with time you improve with all that. So for the regionals we had like over 70 teams from all over the world, majority actually being Asian countries, like those people who are so aggressive and everything. Yeah, but out of the 70 teams, um, we first competed and then they picked the first six teams where we were the best. And then out of the six teams, you pitch live and then the winner is declared and then we happen to be the winner again. So we're now proceeding to the, we're already on with the digital accelerator and good willing end of July will be headed to the UK. Okay, maybe you can tell us something uh, small about what is smart, how it started, where the idea was born. Okay. Mm. Vadi Smart is a startup company. We are all students of Multimedia University. Um, so basically what Vadi Smart does is uh, we have Vadi's app, which you can access it through Play Store, which helps consumers identify counterfeit products in the market, um, helps consumers to like outline their preferences and everything so that by the time they come back shopping, it's going to be easier for them to identify what exactly they want. Because sometimes you get to a supermarket, the same product with like a thousand and one brands you wonder now which one is going to be legit which is which one is good for me and maybe you have underlying conditions like such kind of things um so the app helps you to identify and then to form a circular economy we have a smart recycling bin so a smart recycling bin uses ai intelligence where you scan through the same app you get a unique qr code for yourself you scan on the bin and then the bin opens when you drop your litter it actually takes an image of what you have dropped so it separates whether it's plastic or non-plastic it can separate over a million types of plastic so after when you drop it and then you earn the points so basically you earn points that you can redeem for cash discounts or discounts on products mm. yeah and when did you start this mm. venture um, we started it in 2019, where we had the first prototype, which was a small one. And then with time, we have improved and are actually currently piloting our first beam in Coca-Cola, um, thanks to their partnership, where the, the, the workers of Coca-Cola, which stands right now over 1,200, are using the smart beam. And then they are redeeming the cash, the cash out of their Kijani coins. Um, Kijani coins are the points that you earn when you drop your liter. Uh, you, they redeem it for a snack at the cafeteria and then with time they're going to be awarded vouchers depending on who has the highest points so what they do because the company has regulated plastic within the company so workers come with their plastics from home and then they come and deposit so ensuring that there's recycling of plastic so when i okay let me understand so this is a bin a dustbin right yes so i have to scan yeah, you have the app, the same app that is helping you with the preferences, the same app that is helping you with... Yeah, that you. gives you a unique QR code. So I scan, I scan uh, with my phone or whatever. Yeah, with your phone. With my phone. Yeah, of then course, the after the opens. Then the pin, the bin opens. Then you drop your waist there. Yes. Then it's separated. Yeah, yeah, it has two partitions. So it takes a picture of what you have dropped and then it identifies whether it's plastic or not plastic. And then it puts it on the plastic side and then you earn points. Okay, and what is, because this is a really bright idea, I have never thought of it like that, meaning to talk or shatakataka in you. <laughs> <laughs> so what motivated you or what inspired you to venture into this type of business? Um, the first one is uh, we have so much plastic which is affecting like the farms, it's affecting the farmer, it's affecting the people who are fishing in the ocean, it's literally affecting everyone. There's plastic pollution, your roads, every time they're being constructed, like at the end of the day it has to affect you because it's non-biodegradable. So we saw that instead of just having it to look at, we create a solution for this problem and at the same time be able to help ourselves creating a circular economy because most of the time actually when we're having like these environmental conservation talks and conferences we only talk of circular economy but no one actually stops and decides you know what let's put this into action mm -hmm. and how 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 has it been accepted by people um since we, you started that is 
Okay, something that helps us, of course, we have our founder is Eric Munene, we have Patricia, we have like a whole team. So basically, it's not, we didn't identify ourselves as just friends to come together. Everyone comes with their own skills and what they are good at, which has been something that's helping us because we have really good marketers. We have Lillian who is in charge of our publicity and I think she's done a really good work, of course, all of us backing her up and everything. So um, with that, like you have to identify brands where you, you want to work with them, creating solutions because at the moment we, we decided let's start first with Coca-Cola because as it stands in Kenya, they are the biggest contribution of plastic waste because of their various brands and then their packaging, we don't get back to the company for recycling. So we are like, let's decide with this because it's a major contributor and then with time, they will of course have been like all over the country and then we'll have also other brands coming up and soon it will be next to your apartment or something. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, to you, Patricia, uh, because you said that you're part of Vadismat, uh, what are some of the what is your success, what are some of the positive things that you've seen uh, since you guys started this company in Pakasai? Well, uh, so one thing uh, she didn't mention is how we found first Vadismat. Uh, uh, I love the environment, say I'm, env I'm an environmentalist. So I met with Eric, we had this project of collecting bot plastic bottles according to people's age from my club, that's the environment club. So first it was passion that we needed to be part of this community that uh, stops plastic pollution. So it has really helped with uh, controlling the plastic pollution. Also in another way it benefits, uh, it sort of mo motivates people to litter responsibly because they know that when they use the smart bin they get the points which can be redeemed for either you you buy say coca-cola or you go to a market and buy something such as vegetables yeah and uh as we wind up maybe you can explain to her, us where you guys see yourself in like the next few years or even after winning the this prize because i am praying that you guys win it thank you man <laughs> it actually deserves a very big <laughs> Um, we hope to get to other parts of Africa and even across the world because we're looking to having like a branch of a startup in Rwanda already um, with the same company and we hope to have had like several companies on board and actually gotten to the, to the normal Mwananchi out there in their village for them to drop their waste and not only like focus on the, um, on the company's part so that everyone is going to access and at the end of it we're going to have like a circular economy and just ensure that there are no counterfeit products in the market. Okay, uh, parting shot for uh, your viewers, someone who wants to start up a business, what would you tell them? Oh, okay, so through health praise, I've learned that actually no idea is useless, like every idea has uh, has a uh, has an impact. It depends if, uh, let's say you can start with just helping one person, still that's something. Then let's say in the next few years to come, you can help people in your community. It doesn't have to nece necessarily start with helping the whole of Kenya or the whole world, but as long as you start by solving a simple problem, then that's okay. Uh, maybe you can share your social media handles where people can find you if there's voting, where they can vote for you. <laughs> um, so on Facebook, Body Smart Global on Instagram, Body Smart Global, Twitter, Body Smart Global. Our website is www.bodysmart.co.ke. Okay, yes. thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for joining us. Thank you for sharing uh, your ideas with us. And we pray that you win. Amen. <laughs> so that was Patricia and Abby from Body Smart. And we're going for a short break, but we'll be right back. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Y254 channel.